Hi, it's Matt from Restream, and today I'd like to walk you through our new list view. We've completely reworked our, or shall I say, your home experience so you can spend less time on searching for the right stream setup and more time on, well, streaming, right? So first things first. Now you can open any stream setup with a single click, like this. And boom, you're inside. Now let's head back. In Restream, every stream setup always remembers all of your settings and your last edits. This way, you can jump into streaming at any given time. But if you want to plan ahead and, for example, schedule your stream in advance, you can do that too. So all the convenient options like scheduling, duplicating, and even inviting guests are now nicely packed in the options menu right here. Right now, you probably noticed that your new home screen looks a little bit like a table. Well, that's on purpose. This way, all of your important stream information is right where they need to be visible. So all the thumbnails are here, titles are here, stream status is up here, your channels, and even your last edits. Now, edits are how your streams are sorted by default. So whatever you rename, wherever you add channels, whatever you edit always jumps to the most recent streams on the top. Of course, you can adjust the sorting. And with the new list view, it couldn't be easier. So you can sort by edits, by title, and even by status. If you like, additionally, you can use these handy filters to zoom in just on scheduled events, things that can go live at any time and are still in a draft state, or simply seeing all that you want to see. Your history of past streams got a refresh too, and now it loads much faster than before. And what else is new? Well, when you click on every past stream, we show you a simple overview of how it went. So you will see the time when you went live, the duration, all the channels, and quick links to analytics and recordings. If you want to rewatch your stream, you can also do it from the history of your streams. Just click on the thumbnail and play the stream recording. And just before we wrap up, I have one more tip for you. Let's head back home to see it. If you've been watching carefully, maybe you noticed that one of my stream setups doesn't have any channels added to it yet. It's this one, right? So let's fix that. Right now, you no longer need to dive into Studio or the Encoder page just to control channels. You can quickly add them from here, like this. So let's add some channels, save it, and there we go. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. Happy streaming. Cheers.